O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. Bless your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fights for us, but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us, do not take your Holy Spirit from us. The Book of Wisdom, Chapter 3 The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and no torment will touch them. In the eyes of the foolish they seem to have died. Their departure was considered affliction. They travel away from us, ruin. But they are in peace, for even if in the sight of men they are punished, their hope is full of immortality. Having borne a little chastening, they will receive a great good, because God tested them and found them worthy of himself. He tested them like gold in the furnace. He accepted them as a whole burnt offering. In the time of their visitation, they will shine. They will run back and forth like sparks among the stubble. 
They will judge nations and have dominion over people. And the Lord will reign over them forever. Those who trust in him will understand truth. The faithful will live with him in love, because grace and mercy are with his chosen ones. But the ungodly will be punished even as they reasoned, those who neglected righteousness and revolted from the Lord. For he who despises wisdom and discipline is miserable. Their hope is void and their toils unprofitable. Their works are useless. Their wives are foolish and their children are wicked. Their descendants are cursed because the barren woman who is undefiled is happy. She who has not conceived in transgression. She will have fruit in the visitation of souls. So is the eunuch who has done no lawless deed with his hands, nor imagined wicked things against the Lord. For a precious gift will be given to him for his faithfulness, a special favour, a delightful inheritance in the Lord's sanctuary. For good labours have fruit of great renown. The root of understanding cannot fail. But children of adulterers will not come to maturity. The seed of an unlawful bed will vanish away. For even if they live long, they will not be esteemed. And in the end, their old age will be without honour. If they die quickly, they will have no hope nor consolation in the day of decision. For the end of an unrighteous generation is always grievous. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the epistle to the Hebrews chapters 11 and 12. Those who, through faith, subdued kingdoms, worked out righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the power of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, from their weakness were made strong and grew mighty in war, causing foreign armies to flee. Women received their dead by resurrection. Others were tortured, not accepting their deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. Others were tried by mocking and scourging, even more by bond and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were sawn apart, they were tempted, they were slain with the sword. They went around in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, ill-treated, of whom the world was not worthy, wandering in deserts, mountains, caves, and the holes of the earth. These all, having had testimony given to them through their faith, did not receive the promise, God having provided some better thing concerning us, so that apart from us they should not be made perfect. Therefore let us also, seeing we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, lay aside every weight and the sin which so easily entangles us, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the author and perfecter of faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising its shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. For consider him who has endured such contradiction of sinners against himself, that you don't grow weary, fainting in your souls. You have not yet resisted to blood, striving against sin, and you have forgotten the exhortation which reasons with you as with children. My son, don't take lightning, lightly the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when you are reproved by him. For the one whom the Lord loves, he chastens and scourges the sons he receives. It is for discipline that you endure. God deals with you as with children. So what son is there whom his father does not discipline? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, who is the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom stands our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defence, may not fear the power of any adversaries. Through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Collect for our safe preservation. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with your mighty power and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by your governance to do always that which is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, let me accept calmly all that this day might bring me, and let me devote myself completely to your sacred will. Direct me and help me each hour of this day. Control my thoughts and feelings in all my deeds, and words. When unpredictable circumstances arise, do not let me forget that everything comes from you. Lord Jesus, Son of God, it is better not to live than to live without you. I thank you, God, for the gift of this new day, and for all the good deeds you will help me do today. Holy Spirit, help me to dedicate this day to my Lord and Saviour. 
Teach me to be just toward my brother and sister, never to provoke wrath or cause sorrow. Control my will and teach me to pray, to believe, to hope, to suffer, to forgive and to love. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants throughout the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all today and forevermore. Amen.